Okay, question 17. Suzanne is a member of a sports club. Uh, for each sport she competes in, she wins half of the matches. After buying a new tennis racket, Suzanne plays 10 matches and wins 7. We want to, for part A and 7 marks, investigate at the 10% a uh, level of significance, whether Suzanne's new racket has made a difference to the probability of her winning a match. So, hypothesis test. And we need to be very careful with the language they have used. Has it made a difference? Not has it improved her chances of winning? So, this is going to be a two-tail test. So, that's the first thing to note. It's a two-tail test. Now, it's also binomial because it's an event with two outcomes. So, win or lose. So, we're going to let x be number of matches one now we need to set up our hypotheses so h naught the null hypothesis is always the one that we leave set equal to a value. So she won half of her matches before buying the new racket. P is 0 0.5. That means then that H1 is the probability is not equal to 0 0.5. Again, we're using not equal because it asked if it made a difference, not in a specific way. So, what we need to do then is say then under H naught uh, X has a binomial distribution of well, N is going to be the number of matches she's played, so 10 and P is 0.5 so what we want to do is well, 10% is 0 0.1 now half of that because we're doing a two-tailed test. 5% uh, is 0 0.05. Okay, so now, because she won 7 out of her 10 games, we need to find the probability of her winning uh, 7 or more games under the null hypothesis. So the probability... Um, that x is greater than or equal to 7 is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. Now our calculator can work us out the probability x is less than or equal to 6. Use binomial cd and you should get 0 0.8281 so we get 1 minus 0 0.8281 which gives us uh, 0 0.172236 now we would accept H0 when the probability of 
X being greater than or equal to 7 was between 0 0.05 and 0 0.95 which uh, 0 0.172 is so we accept H0 reject H1 and finish with a statement along the lines of there is not sufficient evidence uh, the new racket has made a difference Cool. Okay, then for part B, after buying a new squash racket, Suzanne plays 20 matches. Uh, we want to find the minimum uh, number of matches she must win for her to conclude at the 10% level of significance that the new racket has improved her performance. So here, we want an improved performance. Part A wanted a difference in performance without specificity. This is specifying that we want her to improve. So this is a one tail test. Now let's say that Y because we used x, y is the number of matches 1, 2, now 2, essentially if we were doing a hypothesis test, um, we would want h1 to be Greater than 0 0.5. So actually, let's try those down. So H0 would be probability is equal to 0 0.5 because she wins half of her matches. H1 would be the probability is greater than 0 0.5 because we want her to improve. So that means then that at the 10% level we need we need to find the probability that y is uh, let's say greater than little y we need that to be less than 0 0.1. Now the distribution for y, again, it would be binomial, n is 20, p is 0 0.5. So now we just trial and error it. So let's say that we might guess the probability of y being greater than 12. That might work. Okay, so that's 1 minus the probability y is less than or equal to 12, which is 1 minus um, 0 0.868, which gives us 0 0.13. Now that is still more likely than 0 0.1, so that's no good. Let's try the probability y is greater than 13. So that is 1 minus the probability y is less than or equal to 13, 
which is 1 minus uh, 0.942 which gives us 0 0.0 Five eight. Now that is less than zero point one. So we found that the minimum is fourteen. Cool.